Hi guys, I'm Priyanka. Welcome back to my kitchen once again. Last time I prepared oatmeal cookies for the tea time. This time I'm preparing banana muffins. Believe me, they are very yummy and they are very easy. Let's see what all ingredients are required for them. Here I'm taking one cup of all-purpose flour or maida. Then I've taken two overripe medium-sized bananas. I have very finely mashed them. Then I'm taking one fourth cup of sugar. If you like more sweet, then you can always add the sugar. Then one fourth cup of melted butter. Then half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth cup of milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Let's start now. Before started preparing the banana muffins, just make sure that you preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit or um, 180 degree Celsius. And uh, here I've taken a cupcake mold. And if you have the cupcake liners, then you can line them. Uh, I don't have the cupcake liners with me right now, so I have greased them with the oil. Now I'll start preparing the batter. First we will mix all the dry ingredients together. Here goes the all purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda and we will sift it. After sifting all the dry ingredients together, I will just mix it once again so that all the dry ingredients are mixed well. Now in a different bowl, we will uh, prepare the wet ingredients. In a bowl, I will take the bananas. Sugar. Butter. milk, vanilla essence and we will mix it. After mixing it well, now we are going to add the dry ingredients to it. Uh, if you want, you can uh, give different flavors to the banana muffin. You can add cinnamon powder or you can add cardamom powder as per your choice or you can also add the different nuts like walnut or uh, almonds or choco chips even if you like but today I am making plain banana muffins so I am not adding any of them so I am going to add the dry ingredients I will add half of the dry one first and then I will add the lid I will mix it gently now I'm going to add the rest of the half of the dry ones and I'll mix it. The muffin batter is ready now. Now I'm going to pour it into the muffin tray. Now I'm going to add the banana batter. We are just going to fill the muffin tray to the three-fourth because we need to give the muffin some space because they are going to rise I have filled all the muffins now and I am going to tap it uh, now I am going to bake them into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes uh, on 180 degrees celsius or 350 fahrenheit so I'll put them. I have baked these uh, muffins for approximately 27 minutes. Firstly, I baked them for 20 minutes. Then I inserted a toothpick uh, into one of the muffin. I found that uh, it was not well cooked. Then for s I baked it for another 7 minutes. Now I'll show you by inserting one. And as you can see, it has come out clean. So we can say that uh, the muffins are done. I'll give them a rest of 5 minutes first, then I'll take them out and serve it. The muffins are resting for about 5 minutes and now they are cool enough. So I'll be taking them out 
I'll just put a knife across all the sides. And very gently, I'll take out the muffin. As you can see, that they have come out very easily. So in this way, I'll take out all of them. The muffins are ready now. Uh, my entire kitchen is having a nice aroma of banana and they are looking very yummy and at the same time they are very spongy even. I can show you from inside. See they are so soft and so spongy. The banana muffins are ready now. You can have them with whipped cream uh, or you can have them like this only. My entire kitchen is filled with banana aroma and they are looking very yummy. Please try them at home and share your experiences on my Facebook page and YouTube channel. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.